Today's story, The Witch Who Couldn't Fly, by Mary Packard, illustrated by Doug Cushman. Winnie, called Mrs. Haggerty, it's time for your flying lesson. Rats' tails and bats' wings, muttered Winnie. Tomorrow night was Halloween, and she still couldn't make her broom fly. Have you studied your charms and spells? asked Mrs. Haggerty. Yes, mother, said Winnie. I know them all by heart. Windy weather, foul or fair, send me flying through the air. Nothing happened. Let me try another one, said Winnie. Gusts, squalls, gales a flurry, send my broom up in a hurry. But again, nothing happened. Concentrate, Winnie, Mrs. Haggerty urged. Winnie took a deep breath and tried again. Tempest, twisters, winds on high, send me flying through the sky. It worked. Winnie's broom gave a sudden lurch and up it went. But the broom came down just as quickly as it went up. The lesson is over, said Winnie. She stomped off to her secret hiding place. You don't care if I fly, do you, Goblin? She asked her kitten. Then Winnie had an idea. Maybe Grandma will know what to do, she said. Hello, Pumpkin, said Grandma. Are you all ready for Halloween? Not exactly, said Winnie. I still can't fly. Nonsense, said Grandma. All the Haggerty witches are excellent flyers. You will be too, when you're ready. But I am ready, said Winnie. Grandma smiled. One day you'll want to fly more than anything in the world, she told Winnie, and that's when you'll do it. That night, before she went to sleep, Winnie made a wish on a star. I wish I could fly, she said. I really, really do. The next day was Halloween. Winnie practiced her spells over and over. But when the time came for all the witches to take off, Winnie still couldn't get her broom off the ground. See you later, called Winnie's friends. Winnie still felt very sad. Goblin will help cheer me up, she thought. Goblin, she called. Goblin! Just then, Winnie heard a meow from high above. She looked up to the top of a tall tree. Poor Goblin, said Winnie. You're stuck. Winnie went to the shed to look for something to climb on. Then she spied her broom in a corner. She quickly hopped on and chanted, Little goblin's in some trouble. Get me up there on the double. Winnie's broom took off like a shot. In an instant, she was beside her kitten. You're safe now, goblin, she said. Would you like to go for a ride? Goblin purred happily. Halloween, here we come, Winnie shouted. Then off they flew into the starry night. The end.